everyone, Jessica back today with another great chair yoga flow. Today it is going to be a really slow, gentle practice working to help us release tension and tightness through the sciatica, low back, SI joint, and those really deep hip areas. We are going to be completely seated today, so you will need your chair, and I recommend having a yoga block here with you today. If you do not have this, that's okay. A pillow, uh, a couple of books, anything that you can place on the floor to get a little extra height in those legs will be helpful. We do have a few poses where the block will be placed in between the knees, and in that case, you can work with gentle hands, pillow block, anything that works for you here today. So get set up with what you have and we're gonna get started right now. Okay, we're gonna start this practice off leaning against the back of your chair and hopefully this is a comfortable place to be. What I want you to feel for here is take a really good deep breath in. And if you just felt those shoulders rise up into the ears, exhale, let them fall down and refocus that breath into the rib cage. Feel your low back expand into the chair on the inhale. So shoulders shouldn't be rising up. Breath should be going lower and deeper using the diaphragm to massage that vagus nerve, really stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system here. Letting those low back muscles stretch open. We're not even moving yet, but hopefully you're starting to feel a nice wave of calmness rolling over the body. Continue to breathe here, I will let you Enjoy a few quiet moments here with this breath. Great job. One more here. Hopefully that rib cage is expanding really well. We've gotten some gentle movement in to those low back areas that might be feeling a little stuck. Let's work to open them a little bit more. Slide those hands forward. You're gonna come forearms to the thighs for our seated sphinx pose. Great job here. And again, find that back expansion breathing. We're not moving really big. And use those forearms against the legs. You can just work pushing the body back towards the chair, maybe pushing up into that upper spine, assess where you're feeling those trouble spots and working really gentle movement into them. I'm sure you can already tell we're finding a big focus on our breathing here today. You can go a good long while without food. You can go about three days without water, but you're definitely not gonna go more <laughs> than three minutes without breathing. Your breath is important. You can see that I have my block placed here in between my legs. I'm gonna drop down deeper into my forward fold here. I invite you to do the same, block or no block. And again, keep watching for that breath. We're not gonna bring it to the ears. We're expanding the back. And we'll start a gentle pedal, lifting one heel at a time. It's a very small movement, but you're gonna feel a little more rounding come through that low back. When I said today was gonna be slow and gentle, I definitely meant it really easy with your body here today. Modify up anything that doesn't work for you. And if you find yourself pulled into a different path or a movement, that is okay. Cause we're here to give your body what it needs today. And that might be a little bit different than what I've got going on. Let's go one more foot pedal here. 
hold that left foot up and then maybe bring the right foot up. Draw a little more heaviness down into this body. If you're working with a block and the body says it's okay, you can lower it down. Great job. Elbows come back up to the thighs, lower those heels. And let's go ahead, set that left arm on over to the right thigh. So we're crossed right side here. Shoulders stay out of the neck, so we're not gonna trade tension. And as you breathe here, try to shift that breath over into this left side back. And even just touching mine here, I can feel how tight that is. Let's go ahead, swing it on over to the left leg, taking the right arm over with us, finding whatever position you can drop into comfortably and breathe. Trying to send that breath into this right side back. Bring it back to the center. If you have a block, or I mentioned at the beginning books, go ahead and take it to the lowest setting here. And we're gonna step the balls of the feet, or maybe the middle of the foot to this block. Go ahead, just work with whatever feels comfortable for you. Draw those shoulders back without pushing the belly forward. Roll yourself down. Knees are gonna be pretty close to the chest. You can fill in space here with your arms if you need to or if it feels okay, you can drop on down, lower. Open up that back here. Continue to breathe deep and full. Okay, we'll slowly start to roll ourselves on up. If you need to push this block a little bit further forward, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that. We're gonna rest to the back of our chair. Left foot will go to the block and we're gonna hug the right leg up and in. And at the same time, we're gonna bow the head and the shoulders forward. And if you need to, you can take this to an underhand grip or use a yoga strap around the foot if hugging from the front is sensitive on the knee. If you have the mobility and <laughs> the chair to help, you can kind of hook that heel onto the seat. So we continue to settle into still gentle, but maybe some larger poses here. I, I wanna really remind you and suggest that the goal for today's practice not be to work or force your body into a big movement. That's not the goal here today. The goal today is to relax, release tension, release stress. So if you find yourself and you're in this really big movement, you're gripping on hard and there's a lot of tension and tightness, maybe ease out of a little bit. Work where you can go soft when the body in the breath and your mind here today, even if that's not your biggest, most accomplished pose. Set this on down, let's switch it out. Oh, left side here, so you will probably notice one side might be tighter than the other if there is an SI joint issue or fussiness or maybe through that sciatica. It is pretty common that it runs on one side of the body rather than both. They're not always equal. So modify here if you need to. Again, find the pose that you can find softness within. It's not always the biggest pose. That's not the goal today.
feel where that breath is going. Just double check it's not coming high into the shoulders and neck. Let's go ahead, release this left leg on down. Now here comes the part where we are going to grab the block and bring it up and in. We're gonna squeeze it in between the thighs. It can be any width that works for you. So, I mean, this might be kind of wide, but whatever works for your body. Go ahead, drop it on down. Lift those heels, round yourself, thinking chest towards block pillow or hands, whatever you've got, roll it up, release the heels. Let's take two more of those. Roll it up. And last one here. Oh, stay here and breathe. Bring it on up, lower those heels, smooth and steady. Kind of plant to that left foot. You're gonna squeeze this right knee in and lift that heel out to the side. Again, not forcing yourself into a big movement, really respecting the boundaries of the body here today. This is internal rotation of the hip. It may open up a little bit of pressure out of that sacroiliac joint. If you're working here and you just don't feel much, you'll be getting some nice hip strengthening at the very least. Last one here. Take it on down. Let's go ahead and go over to this left side again. Might be different on this side. one here. All right, walk those hips forward a little bit. We're gonna look for a little bit of movement here in the block. You can see that I'm accomplishing that by wiggling my knees forward and back. What I'm gonna suggest you do is stop moving this left knee. See if you can pull the right knee back. Small tilt of the block, send it back, level pull back without pushing that left knee forward. Again, just releasing some tension through that sacroiliac joint. And if you don't know what that is, it's okay, it's not common. <laughs> it's where the back of the pelvis meets that very tailbone. And that is a joint and they can compress. Work to get that left hip back without pushing the right knee forward. Up. and I've got such a larger range of motion on this side and that's pretty normal too so they're not they're not always even but we're just taking the back of that pelvis bone and working it off just a little bit from that lower tailbone go ahead take your block here set it back down to the floor you can leave it there any height take those legs wide Drop those arms down to the sides, lift the heart. And first, one of the day, inhale, take those arms up overhead. Exhale, twist, and bring yourself forward and down over this right leg. So left arm is gonna give you a little bit of leverage to find a twist. Keeping it really gentle here, keeping soft and relaxed through that upper body. Pulling it back forward, dropping those arms. Do not push that belly button forward. Take those arms up overhead and exhale, twist Ooh, to the left side this time. Right arm gives you a little bit of leverage to work into a twist. If things are tight, respect that. Bring it back to the center. Block is gonna stay here, books, whatever you have. Left foot is gonna come right into the side of that block. Wiggle those hips forward, lean yourself back. We're gonna take the very easiest 
versions of this pose first. We'll work our way through making them a little bit more challenging, finding those deeper stretches. And wherever you feel like your limit is, that's where you're gonna stop and you're gonna hold and pause. So, seated figure four stretch here. If this is enough, stay here. If you need a little bit more, lift it up gently and take this left foot to the block. Great job here. Finding yourself relaxing here. Again, if this is enough, stay here. Breathe deep into that hip. If you need a little bit more, inhale, sit yourself up. Whew, great job. And if you need a little bit more, you're gonna stretch that heart forward, really deepening into the hip, dropping the arms. And if at any time you find that you may have gone just a little bit too far, that's okay, pull back. The low back, such a sensitive area, same thing with the sciatica and those hips. So sometimes those really deep, aggressive stretches, they're just too much. And instead of releasing that tension, it'll kind of wind them up and they can actually tighten to protect themselves further. So we're not trying to stimulate that response. So keep things easy here today. All right, wherever you are, you're gonna let yourself kind of Slouch forward, thinking about rounding through the spine a little bit more. And if it's too much, bring yourself back. And we're all gonna work our way back anyways. So when you're ready, start to release yourself back down. Step the right foot next to the block. And this time, left leg will cross over and I'm sure that you're already catching on at this side is very tight for me here today. I am feeling just that um, edge of discomfort and I feel like I could very easily tip myself over into pain. So I'm gonna stay here, but I will use my vocal cues to guide you into your deeper stretch if you need it. So if you need to, go ahead, take that right foot, step it up to the block, and that one, I do think, ooh, I think I could manage that one. Continue just to let this left leg relax. A muscle isn't going to relax if it's gripping on. So you really have to use your breath here. Now, I know I can't go any further than this, but if it's best for you, sit yourself up off the back of the chair. Give yourself a second to evaluate how that feels. And then if you need to, reach yourself further forward, taking chest forward out past this front left shin. No matter where you are, you're gonna go ahead, find that slouching again, rolling yourself forward, thinking about gravity, just drawing this body forward and we're all going to work our way back towards the chair so in your own time and there is no rush you're just going to slowly work your way back and then we'll go ahead release that left leg on down feet can go to the block or you can take those heels and push it underneath the chair we're going to go for our deep forward fold again if you've ever taken a traditional yoga class where you work on the mat and at the very end you hug those knees into the chest, that's what we're taking our seated variation of here today. So working the knees closer to the belly, dropping those arms, find where you can relax. And just like in that lying position you can find a bit of a sway 
gentle movement through the low back. You wanna make sure it's easy, it's gentle, it feels good, that's important. Hands are gonna come up to the thighs. We're gonna think about stacking this vertebra up through the low spine through the middle thoracic spine, finding the back of our chair as we roll all the way up through the neck, dropping the shoulders. If you have your block out in front still, go ahead, just work it underneath the chair. And again, plant those feet flat. Slide yourself forward here. We're gonna go ahead and take a few cat and cows. If they are not a good fit, for you, you can skip them and just work here. Focus on breathing to expand, open that pack. Take a good deep breath in. Exhale, press up and away, arch through that back. Inhale, come forward, maybe dropping the belly. See how that feels. It can be hit or miss on sensitive low back days. Exhale, press. Inhale forward. Exhale, press. Follow through with this one by restacking through the body, gently rolling yourself back up, holding those hands to the lap. Palms can be open or closed. Find your stillness here. Smooth out the breath. Job. Let yourself settle further into any position that feels good for you. We're going to take three slow breath cycles here. hands to the heart. Exhale, bow it forward, ending today's practice. Great job here today. If you are experiencing some low back tension and tightness, I hope that this was gentle enough that you found the beginnings of some relief. I do really encourage you to be mindful as you move throughout your day and you continue to work with any additional exercises or stretches anything powerful enough to help is also powerful enough to hurt. So if you are experiencing pain or discomfort, really take good care of yourselves today. Take extra caution to be mindful of all of your movements. Protect that low back because it is such a sensitive area. And once it gets flared up, oh man, it can be such a troublemaker. But I hope that you found today's practice helpful really slow, really gentle. So great job being patient through that. Of course, I will have more workouts for us here next week. So everything from cardio strength, more yoga. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you can meet me back here for those. Enjoy your weekend. And thank you so much for watching. Great practice today.